let's move on and discuss the first topic that is understanding the chemical properties of acids and bases we will start this topic by doing an activity let's move on to the lab here i have some solutions with me they are hydrochloric acid nitric acid sulfuric acid potassium hydroxide magnesium hydroxide and calcium hydroxide i am going to test each of these solutions with red litmus blue litmus phenolphthalein and methyl orange solutions here i have three watch glasses i am going to add one drop of nitric acid to the first watch glass one drop of hydrochloric acid to the second watch glass and one drop of sulfuric acid to the third watch glass now let's add one drop of red litmus solution to all of this watch glasses can you see any color change no we can't see any color change it indicates that these solutions are not basic in nature now let's take three more watch glasses and add one drop of nitric acid to the first watch glass one drop of hydrochloric acid to the second watch glass and add one drop of sulfuric acid to the third watch glass we will check this solution by adding one drop of blue litmus solution to that see the blue color of the solutions changes to the red hence it is clear that these solutions are acidic in nature let's confirm this by doing two more tests i am going to take one drop of hydrochloric acid nitric acid and sulfuric acid in three watch glasses respectively and add one drop of phenolphthalein to each of them we have already discussed that phenolphthalein becomes colorless if it meets something acidic so we can say that all these items are acidic in nature now again take three new watch glasses to that add one drop of hydrochloric acid nitric acid and sulfuric acid in three watch glasses respectively and add one drop of methyl orange to each of them see friends the solution turns pinkish red color actually methyl orange gives such a color change only if it meets something acidic in nature hence it is very clear that all these items are acids now let's have a look at another set of solutions here also we are taking three watch glasses to this i am going to add one drop of potassium hydroxide to the first watch glass one drop of magnesium hydroxide to the second watch glass and one drop of calcium hydroxide to the third watch glass now let's add one drop of red litmus solution to all of this watch glasses can you see any color changes yes you can see that the red color of the solution changes to blue it indicates that the these solutions are basic in nature now let's take three more watch glasses and add one drop of potassium hydroxide to first watch glass one drop of magnesium hydroxide to second watch glass and one drop of calcium hydroxide to third watch glass we will check this solution by adding a blue litmus solution to each of the watch glasses see friends the solution remains the same hence it is clear that these solutions are basic in nature we will confirm this by doing two more tests i am going to take one drop of potassium hydroxide magnesium hydroxide calcium hydroxide in three watch glasses and add one drop of 
phenolphthalein to each of them. Friends, can you see any color change? Yes, we can see that red color of the solution changes to pink. We have already discussed that phenolphthalein becomes pink if it meets something basic. So, we can say that all these items are basic in nature. Now, let's take one drop of potassium hydroxide, magnesium hydroxide, calcium hydroxide in three watch glasses and add one drop of methyl orange to each of them. See friends, the solution turns yellow color. Actually, methyl orange gives such a color change only if it meets something basic in nature. Hence, it is very clear that all these items are bases.